Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It was one year ago today that choreographer and actress Andrea Kelly first broke her silence and spoke exclusively to Sister Circle about the pain and torment she suffered at the hands of her ex-husband, R. Kelly. So much has happened since then. Calls to mute R. Kelly, additional criminal charges, and a lifetime docuseries, and even more victims have come forward. Well, today Andrea Kelly is back and she's brought her oldest daughter, Buku, who is sitting down with us at, for the very first time and she'll join us a little later, but first we must welcome our very good friend, Andrea Kelly. Yay! <laughs> hey! You fine! You, 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 she home! Yes! yes. yes. Oh my love! How you doing? Just gorgeousness, have a seat! It's how so you good doing? to Pretty see y'all! you keep it all together. Honey, prayer and being vegan. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, you I'm went vegan. vegan. When? Yeah, I've been vegan almost three years, a little over three years, but I was vegetarian since high school. Oh, okay. okay. So the transition for me, I'm not an egg eater. I don't like dairy. I'm not ice cream. Yeah. Milk, so it was easy for me. And that's right. why you look so good. Thank you. You are just, I just got to tell, yeah. I, I, can't, I can't help it. You are just Glowing. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you. you are. Look at God. You're not walking in your purpose. Yes. When, absolutely. when that pain turns into power, you get wings. Yes, mm. yes, you do. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that because you talked exclusively with us last year, almost a year ago yes. to wow. the day about everything that you had gone through. I mean, really, it was after that headline after headline, show booking after show booking. Mm -hmm. What has life been like for you since that day you were here on this couch with our sister Selena till now? It, it almost feels like I've been floating on clouds. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. been beautiful. When they say that, that the sun will come out tomorrow, mm. so true. Yeah. Just the life changing stories and women leaving and just, it, I never knew that coming forward, you think, okay, I just want to tell my story, yeah. bring some validity to these women mm -hmm. who no one is listening. Mm -hmm. I never knew that it would be like a ripple in a pond, yeah. that it would go so far beyond just women affected by my ex. There's women overseas that have been affected. There's mm -hmm. women I, that I just never thought in a million years who've been in these situations. Yeah. One lady hit me and said, I've been in this marriage for 40 years and when I saw you on Sister Circle, I left the very next day. Wow. Yes, like, honey. That's, that's what it's about. Good. That's what it's about. That's, that's real what it's good. about. Yes, 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 yes. absolutely. Well, we, we talked about, or you just mentioned, um, you know, so many women coming forward with the allegations against your ex-husband. Well, we've had even more young women to come forward uh, recently. Uh, how have you been able to encourage them? Mm. Because I'm the living truth. Mm -hmm. That's how I can encourage them. It's hard for people to tell you, move forward, tell your story when you don't know what the other side looks like. Mm -hmm. But when they see my life and me moving forward in my advocacy and being able to be that voice for the voiceless and the power for the powerless, mm -hmm. it gives you that inner strength and you don't feel alone. Yeah. And I think being able to do it on a platform when it's in the headlines, when it's nationwide yeah. information that's being out there, yeah. you don't feel like, well, my little the corner of the world, it doesn't matter. Now yeah. you feel like I got a sister for me mm -hmm. that even if I'm not on Sister Circle, I got one sitting and standing yes, in the gas. Yes, right. yes, yes. And right. you were a major part of, of the docu-series. What, what, what impact do you think it had? Not just what we were able to see as far as the facts or what, uh, um, or what so many people mm -hmm. said, but what type of impact mm -hmm. outside of it? Do you think it had? You, the impact that I think it had for women seeing me, it really, they got to see that this is not just about Drea. This mm -hmm. is not just to help Drea. This is for all victims, mm -hmm. for all women, all walks of life. Yeah. For them to be able to see, here's a woman that was not just someone associated to right. this man, she was married, married to mm -hmm. this man. And when you take a stand like I did, when you were married and share children with mm -hmm. somebody, that's empowering. Yeah, It is, and also empowering, it had to be equally hard for you to make that decision because you knew that of course some of the backlash was going to come back and it was yeah. going to be challenging. Mm -hmm. What was it in you that said no matter what I'm going forward with this and then secondly um, if your ex-husband is to be convicted uh, he's going to spend pretty much the remainder of his life behind bars. What's your perspective on that? Well, for the second part of that, if he spends the rest of his life behind bars, that's a choice you made also. Mm -hmm. right. Like, I'm so disconnected from that. We all have choices in life. And I will always say, just because you were abused does not give you a license to be an abuser. Absolutely. That's a choice you make. There's counseling, there's help, there's prayer, there's hotlines. 
there's so much out there for you to make a better choice in life. Yeah. And when you choose to lose, that's what you're going to pay with your life. Wow. So I'm disconnected from that has nothing because you girls out here winning. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. Yes. yes, yes. But the impact, the, the positive far outweighs the negative. Yes. Good. You know, for every one that's hating, it's 10 that are living. Yes. For every one that has something negative to say, there's 20 who didn't decide to jump off a balcony. Yes. You know, and that was an option for me at one right. point mm -hmm. in my right. life. Right. So uh, the girl is living. She's good. Yes. Baby right. here. Right. 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 Yes. You're on a new uh, reality show with your eldest daughter, yes. Roku, and we're going to talk to her when we come back. Yes. Really excited about that. But can we show some love to this courageous yes. woman, oh. Trey oh. Kelly, everybody? <laughs> yes. And when we come back, we will meet Buku Abai, eldest daughter of Robert and Andrea Kelly. Stay where you are. It gets better. People are going to give you things because of your last name. They're going to take things away from you, but I've always wanted you guys to like always stay strong and believe in yourself no and, that, and that's what, what you taught says. us mom my kids are so amazing it could have been a madhouse going through what they've gone through but because i've instilled those values in my children from a very young age they were prepared for this Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are back with Drea Kelly and her eldest daughter, Buku Abai. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like your mama. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, mini -me. Face I to face. face. Seriously. It's so beautiful. Yes. So beautiful. Just radiant. But you know what I noticed in, in watching that, that, that clip there? You were encouraging them, but she was there for you. Oh, she yes. <laughs> this one right here. On those days, like, I, I told the story. This, this was the one who gave me the courage to leave at six years old, sitting at oh, the foot yeah, of that bed. You did tell us about her. This yeah. one right here, I often tell her, like, I stand on her shoulders. Mm -hmm. This is my hero. Mm -hmm. Like, everything I do, live, breathe for, is it's because her. of her. Yes. Uh, she awesome. gave me that courage to be like, oh, this is what we're doing? This is the last day, too. Exactly. Oh, wow. exactly. Yes. That's good. Well, well Buku, you are stepping into your mother's footsteps, so to speak, in terms of reality television. And so you are on the newest episode or season mm -hmm. of Growing Up Hip Hop. What exactly is that like for you? And after going through everything and your, and your father constantly being in the press, uh, and we, we all saw the documentary, have they been more supportive of you or have they been more accusatory and judgmental of you? Um, I would honestly say all of the cast members have been extremely sweet. Good. Um, they've been very understanding. Nobody that I've been around has like forced me to talk about anything or like, you know, pushes anything um, too far. You know, they they allow that space for me to be like, hey, okay, I don't want to talk about this. You know, it's a little, it's getting to be a little too much. Can mm -hmm. we like, you know, change to another subject? So. My cast members, they've been wonderful. Right. I've met some amazing people and awesome. I like I genuinely created relationships. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm excited. Good, yeah. good. So of course your career will be the focal point yes. of mm -hmm. what we will see this season. But what Same. else? What else will, will you <laughs> divulge? Oh <laughs> uh, well yeah, I sing, I um I do visual arts. Okay. Um, you know, I have a boyfriend. Hey, oh, yeah. no, you don't. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 I I call him son in law. <laughs> no, I, love, mama. I love my Jody Hope. That is oh, my yeah. baby. You weren't supposed to say his name. Oh, I'm, I'm just playing. I love <laughs> you know what I love is I always told her, find somebody that's not only good to you, but good for you. And so mm. many women find men that are good to them. They can buy you things, they're good to you. They take mm. you to dinner, they're good to you. But if you got a wife, he's not good for you. Mm. So I taught her, find someone that's good to you and good for you. And yeah. Right, that's yeah. good. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. So how will you yeah, develop as, I'm oh, sorry? No, I'm saying, I'm, I was just saying, we have like a lot, I have a lot going on rather. So like, just kind of to piggyback off yeah. of that. Um, like we actually, we work together on a lot of my stuff. So I just recently put out an EP. Good. Um, and we worked Tell on the, name the of cover. It. To, oh, it's called Don't Call Me. I'm so bad at this. Like I have to like, like practice. You'll get yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, the name, the name of the EP is called Don't Call Me. Yeah. Uh, we actually worked, just, we worked on the cover together. He, the smart cover right. Right. Yeah. So, I, we got merch coming out very right. soon. Yeah. So, Where like, can they find a, the, the EP? Um, the EP is out everywhere. Okay. Nice. Yeah, on Spotify. Okay. SoundCloud, yes. Apple Music, all that. So yeah. Look how you're um, beaming at your baby. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm sitting over here looking like, that's my baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're 
just so happy yeah. for each of you. I'm, I'm so proud of you for what you're doing. Andrea, give me some love. Oh, sis. You, we love you so much. You're just always a staple here at Sister Circle. Can we give it up for this amazing family? That's the season premiere of Growing Up Hip Hop Atlanta, June 13th at 9, 8 Central.